this album which is called Dream Chaser. It's probably my most personal album to date um, because I think that the title really explains it which is Chasing a Dream and I was brought up through the 60s and at that time space was very relevant. We had the first man land on the moon which I was lucky and privileged to be living in that time to see that actually happen on a on a black and white TV screen and it it changed many of us, I think. I don't think there's been anything so amazing, you know, to date that, that, that was like that. is that um, it looks as if a special journey into space may be happening for me in uh, a couple of years' time. And uh, I've been incredibly inspired by it, as a, just as a musician. And I've been, it's given me a beautiful theme to work with, a beautiful palette to work with. And um, it's been an incredibly creative time. I think I was, I was eight at the time, and so obviously at that time we're talking about you know, First Man on the Moon. I remember watching it on on television and something flipped. I, I'd been quiet and, uh, and reticent as a child and suddenly it, 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 my mind opened. I went to Star City in Russia and uh, did a series of psychological tests, physical tests. Um, I was monitored when I was take, put in a centrifuge and taken up to 8G, which I loved and felt very comfortable with. And um, it uh, all of I, I passed through everything really, really well. And uh, was then, um, you know, as said by the the Russian Space um, uh, Federation, as I I am actually officially a, a cosmonaut in training at this moment. I want to do something very, very special. I want to go there, where they are. I want to go up, I, I want, actually want to go up into space. That moment, things change. They put you on something called the rotating chair and basically it's to test you for motion sickness. Now we're all afraid of motion sickness. We've all suffered probably at some time in your life. And this it puts you through incredibly intense, like 10, 12 minute periods of this. Interestingly enough, I, I, the women get through better than the men do. And uh, I, I, see, I passed, passed this test very well every time, but it, is, it does, give you an incredibly feeling you feel incredibly uncomfortable you feel incredibly nauseous you have to really focus it's very important not to pass out very good. i cannot believe that this is this is happening i'm i'm here it was made a decision you are approved for the special space flight training. You have been approved for this. I, I think I'm very inspired by the idea of, of being in space as a performer. I don't know about other performers because I haven't really spoken to anyone about it. But when you think about music coming up from, you know, my past anyway, other artists have been incredibly inspired by it and, and written amazing things. I mean, you look at Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon. I mean, even if there was nothing specifically about uh, space, the, the, the fact that it was called what it was and the feeling of the music was definitely inspired. David Bowie, um, it, it goes on and on. And I think that, um, you know, as artists, we do we are able to bear our soul in in a beautiful way, and and I'm sure if you know pub, the public that weren't involved in music, if they could go through those channels, they would do the same thing. So I definitely feel that for all of us, the universe and the idea of space, even if people don't necessarily want to go through the uncomfortable way of doing it at this time, are would all like that moment of 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 being there, I think, just because it's part of us, it's what is around us, we are part of it. Next steps. 